Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading for you guys. And this reading is going to be for your weekly March 14th through the 20th. So excited for this reading for you. I feel like it's going to be a good reading. Oh my goodness. I hope it is. Now that I said that, I hope it is. Calling in your spirit guides and your angels to join us as we get messages that's for your most high. For the energy of Pisces, I think I'm going to clear out the energy with some sage. Something about Scorpio's reading that may, uh, might still be lingering here. So let's go ahead and get some sage and clear this energy for you. So that we have a blank slate reading. <laughs> That's what we always want to have, right? I am offering private readings, by the way. Check out the box below for that information. <sighs> There we go. Much better. Much better. This is Kim Cran's archetype deck. We're going to pull a few cards from it first. And um, we're going to see where it takes us from there. I might do a few oracles first. It just depends on what's deciding to come through. We have we have the healer have the lover and the judge the lover the judge the healer lover the judge the healer healer the judge lover you be the judge i guess it's a you be the judge Maybe deciding upon something. Um, it may be time to not judge a book by its cover here. It, there may be something about that with this judgment. Um, I don't know. We're going to go further. We're going to pull your um, Celtic Cross with the Uncommon Tarot and see what this is talking about. And then we'll get some clarifying cards. And we'll pull some more oracles at the end, too. So thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks so much. The healer, maybe you're going into some kind of energy healing modality. Maybe you're going into some kind of other kind of healing. doesn't have to be um, through just energy healing. I mean, you could be going to nursing school or getting your doctorate. I don't know. It can be many things with this healer. Learning to first healing yourself may be the first challenge here. The lover energy makes me feel like you're calling in true love, um, your soulmate. Like it might be time because of the healing or something like that. It might be time. Because you've healed. So you're you're the same vibration of who you need to call in. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Something is about to be lifted for you. Some kind of burden is going to be lifted. These are completion anyway. The tens are. Um, but this is like. Ah, lightening the load immediately. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. See? True love. You got the true love card. Mm. Oh, my goodness. See, Pisces? Your energy brought in the nine of cups. And you brought in the strength card. Are you serious? Wow. Eight. Infinitely uh, manifesting. Definitely something really big here about manifesting. Six of cups. Your soulmate. Queen of swords in the reverse. Don't get too detached from any kind of emotions because there's a friggin' sun. You have the sun. You have the sun. You have the nine of cups. This is so good for you. You don't even understand. This energy is so good. Something is going to lift your load. I understand the three of swords is up there as the current energy. You're not feeling this. Okay, I get it. But, oh, my God, you have every card that represents soulmate here, possibly. Every card that represents soulmate you have. 
You Be the Judge card. Oh my goodness, and the Hierophant at the bottom underneath the Lightning Your Load. <sighs> okay, so I uh, just uh, commitment, marriage card, uh, something going really great, something that had fell and um, it was reconstructed, it was rebuilt again. Um, the Seven of Swords is in the reverse in the past energy, and this is really getting away from a time of sneakiness. Maybe it's, no, it's, it could be, you know, seeing through deception and illusion. A need to see through some lies, too. Could have Gemini energy. Three, three, three snake heads, three swords. The Knight of Pentacles is the challenge, and that is um, slow moving, but it is a really good, dependable energy. It's very slow moving, but it is good. Like I said, this tower is in reverse, meaning either a tower was avoided or this is a rebuilding phase. And, um, and it could have been something that heartache or loss, it, you know, three of swords is really sorrow. Uh, that's, that's what it is. So it's any kind of heartache though. So let's go ahead and clarify this because look guys, from that point on, it's like gravy. You've got nine of cups here. Wish granted auspicious little coy there. You have the strength infinite here. Confidence. Leo energy is what you have, so you should be feeling really good. Leo energy here also giving you some extra energy for something that lightens your load, and it's a great new commitment, a new partnership. It is bringing in feelings of true love and adoration. Adoration? <laughs> it could be like mutual love and respect. The Queen of Swords in the reverse, I feel like that's just like a fear, a fear of somebody... Um, Maybe yourself being detached from your emotions. Maybe that's a fear of not knowing how to, you know, not handling our emotions real well or expressing them. But the sun is here to say, wow, <laughs> take all that you learned and let's have something big and brand new. Take all that you have and let's start something brand new. Tower in reverse. What's this about? A wish granted. And did you see it flip over too? You've got another nine of cups. Nine of cups, nine of cups. Shit. This is a good reading. Wow. Wish granted. This is um your wish granted. This is everything. This is your, if this is a soulmate energy you wanted to come in for you, it is. If you wanted to heal family issues and grow strong family bonds, it's here. Opportunities for family are here. Opportunities for soulmate energy, weddings, kids, everything looks like it, anything could be possible here for you in this future energy. I don't know if I can even go further on this anymore. I can clarify the three of swords for you. Uh, but yeah, feeling like something you've invested, a challenge is getting out what you invested in and I don't know maybe you got out of a heartbreaking situation where it wasn't really even or equal and contemplated decided hey I need a new beginning and there you go and there's a new beginning and either and then bam here's the soulmate energy here's like either a marriage card or commitment something really lovely coming um true love is here true love is here wow that is your, um, that's your title. That's your title. True love is here, or honey is really, really close. Look at all those tens. It is really, really close. Tens are, you know, here about, there's major completions, but there's also this patience, patience. Keep your thoughts positive and patient as everything's working out for your highest good. Trust your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. I am patient. Wow. Ten, you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas, organize out the details, and carry others how to work it out. <laughs> this is amazing. Foundations. This can be built on a firm foundation, and you live 
it's gonna something's gonna pick up speed here with the two of pentacles expect some great change guys you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you dependable friend, partner, and colleague. Then I have 11. I am intuitive. You have a keen awareness of what's happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and it will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and a great supporter. I am intuitive. I, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. My mind is blown. Your reading is excellent. Excellent. Haven't seen a reading this good in a very long time. Seriously. From Gaia Revealed, I have 18. Gaia is in service. Gaia is in service to humanity and changes itself as human consciousness changes. Humans are actually in charge and responsible for earth changes and shifts. This is probably why you feel so connected to the dirt of the earth. Light of the creator. The divinity within me glows with the eternal light of the creator. I'm connected with my true self so that a peace within me is manifested throughout my entire being. 35 time capsules of Gaia. Within Gaia are time capsules that are now releasing a storehouse of future knowledge and information. New ideas about unity and peace are coming. Allow yourself to receive this new energy. Beautiful. And you probably are feeling or hearing these frequencies, which are pretty loud right now. Um, and pretty strong right now, I guess. Sending you light and love. Thanks for joining me, Pisces. Bye-bye.